Gentlemen, the countdown has just begun. Are you ready? Welcome to another episode of El Diestro DIY. In this episode, I am doing a full VR disc conversion on the Mitsubishi Mirage 97. This particular kit fit from 93 up to 2001. Mitsubishi Mirage Technica LS model base model two or four door no matter also fit in some Lancers and I know in other countries this car is is known by Lancer or Sedia or Pradon. This kit will fit in all those all those variants of the car. This is the complete DIY kit. The, the adapter plate is made by a body of mine and I sell this kit. I put this kit together with all the parts needed need, needs and resell the adapter. You can get those adapter plates from the developer or from me if you are link on description to my fa Facebook page and message me. Well, this kit is so convenient because you can get the part using this kit almost everywhere. We use in this kit 92 Rear Mitsubishi Eclipse or Eagle Talon calipers, great calipers. Also, we use in 99 Eclipse brake lines, and we use a Nissan Sentra pads. But we need to do a little bit of modification but to fit the Eclipse calipers and we use Mini Cooper S 2007 disc that's why I told you guys this is the most convenient conversion to do to these cars because I know for a fact this car can be swapped with two other with two by two other ways. One of those ways is using FTO or Magna back plates along with calipers and this and those parts in the US country are very rare to find. Also you have to swap the the e-brake cable so that's way over complicated. With this kit you retain you retain the factory e-brake cable and use a adapter provided by the kit 
and the other way I know is using Lancer rally art. We are we are armed along with backplate calipers, e-brake e cables, and I think that's also a overcomplicated way to do this because the Lancer Rally Art is a bit rare car and use brake shoes inside the inside the inside the disc so it's pretty much like having two two different two different rear brake setup so that's a lot more part to fail with this kit you you use the you you are using the the actual caliber as e-brake also because the, those eclipse calipers have a lever that being pulled by the e-brake cable and engage the pads so that's a, a pretty tough e-brake setup it's way better than it's way better than using set of brake shoes this video you are going to see me doing all the parts need to take out and installing all the part comes in with the kit disclaimer in this video I'm not giving any torque specs or disassembly everything because this kit is for sale I'm not letting this kit install my car so I'm going to take a few a few short roads to avoid to avoid over complicating me later. The center knob of the uh, the center knob of the the hub assembly is 30 millimeter 30 millimeters and it's pretty tight as you can see in the video and the center bolt the four bolt hold hold down the back plate are 12 millimeters Unscrew the you 
need to unscrew the, the ratio operator line nut with a flare flare nut with a flare wrench. It's I don't recommend you a regular wrench because you can strip those those knots and that's what going to do that was going to be a really really pain I lose the knot and, and it's 10 millimeter it's 10 mil now it's a matter of the two pins on each each side those pins are, are holding down the, the two washer with spring those hold the brake shoes in place if you are doing the swap it's just a matter of remove the lower spring so you can take out the whole the whole two the two ratios with everything installed but if you was doing the right job you need to remove the two springs Goes between each ratio. Now I'm doing. I'm removing the four bolts. Four bolts hold the back plate. And as you can see in the screen, after I remove the just slide over the right the right cable ok now I'm pointing this the right cable is held down onto the back plate by a C clip the brake swap kit comes with new C clips in case you lose or break one when you remove your old ones now if you notice in the screen the adapter plate is made of thick aluminum and that black L-shaped piece is what's holding the e-brake cable Okay, here I'm completely overlooked and made a mistake. This whole shape is supposed to be that one. So, if you are inside this kit, you need to be really sure and install the L shape bracket the right way. So this kit comes with everything you need to do the installment. The other screws are great aid. And when you are installing the solar bracket, one of the four bolts is a, like three minutes longer. And you need to install that bolt. Shape 
adapter for the e-brake cable now I'm going to explain how you are going to hook this up to the e-brake cable okay, this e-brake e cable adapter comes with a, a little rock screw the side and use a 564 hour wrench. You need to be careful with this group screw because this screw is what is going to hold down the, the whole assembly. This, this long hex nut is bored almost halfway and that's the part is going to point to what toward the the ever cable after you slide the spring back you proceed to slide over slide the brake cable and install all back together center not use like a hundred pound of torque I don't remember right now again do we go Google search the caliper bracket you need to use in between the aluminum bracket and the brake caliper caliper bracket two two washers and those washers are, are those washers are included in the in the kit Install the brake caliper and the brake caliper line. Um, we are done. As always, thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to make what and one video per week and I'm going to do a few unbox and reviews of tools also don't, don't forget to check the new series the 240SX Drift build thanks for watching and subscribe
be safe and happy holidays everyone Oh, <laughs> my